Follow along as I discuss Tesla's latest 4680 battery update and what it reveals about Tesla's progress. I'm John, and this is Cleaner Watt. As far as I know, Tesla never publicly announced when they started official production of 4680 batteries at Gigafactory, Texas. However, based on some leaked information that I discussed in past videos, it does appear like battery production began at the factory sometime in late September of 2022. When it comes to a basic timeline of Tesla's 4680 battery production ramp at Gigafactory, Texas, from the estimated start of production there in late September of 2022, it took Tesla around 262 plus days to build 10 million 4680 battery cells at Gigafactory, Texas accumulatively. Now, previously, before that 10 million production milestone at Gigafactory, Texas, Tesla did share two other 4680 production milestones, but these were not exclusive to Gigafactory, Texas, but also included their Cato Road facility. For example, on February 18th of 2022, Tesla posted this picture on their X.com account with the words, quote, celebrating our 1 millionth 4680 cell in January. And that picture there is of Tesla's Cato Road facility. Then on December 25th of 2022, Tesla posted these two pictures and the post read, quote, congrats to the 4680 cell team on achieving 868K cells built in the last seven days, equal to 1K plus cars. I know that this is an accumulative total between both Cato Road and the Texas facility because that picture on the left is the Cato Road facility and the picture on the right is the Gigafactory Texas facility. So this is a combination, obviously, of the two factories building that many battery cells in a seven day period. However, when we move to the June 16th of 2023 update, Tesla shared this picture, and this is the Gigafactory Texas battery cell team. And in this post, it was written, quote, produced our 10 millionth 4680 cell at Giga Texas this week. Now there is of course a very slight possibility that that is a cumulative total of all the 4680 battery cells built by Tesla, but I'm pretty certain that this number here actually includes just production at Gigafactory Texas. I could be wrong on that, but I'm pretty certain that's the case because of the image that is shown here. So that's the assumption that I'm going off here. And so basically, once again, as a reminder, based on my estimate of startup production to Tesla producing 10 million 4680 battery cells at Gigafactory Texas, that took Tesla 262 plus days. And if you do the per day average, which will be important here, as I discuss their milestones, that equates to during that 262 plus days, a per day average of around 38,168 4680 battery cells being built per day. Then moving from that 10 million milestone to their 20 million milestone on October 11th of 2023, Tesla posted this picture, and in this post, it was written, quote, just built our 20 millionth 4680 cell at Giga Texas. So while it took Tesla over 262 days to go from startup production to their first 10 million 4680 battery cells at Gigafactory, Texas, it only took around 117 days for them to go from 10 million 4680 battery cells to 20 million 4680 battery cells built at the factory. And once again, if you do that per day average and you calculate that out, that 10 million 4680 battery cells built in 117 days equates to an average of 85,000 470 batteries being built per day. Moving to Tesla's latest 4680 battery production update, on June 5th, Tesla posted these images here, this collage of images, and in this post it was written, quote, congrats 4680 cell manufacturing team on building their 50 millionth battery cell at Gigafactory, Texas. So going back to this chart, with Tesla's most recent milestone, it took them 238 days to add 30 million 4680 battery cells to their accumulative total, going from 20 million produced to 50 million produced. If you divide that 30 million 4680 battery cells by 238 days, that equates to an average, a per day average of over 126,000 4680 battery cells built per day. You can see that number, that per day average is going up quite a bit. But I want to make it really clear here that that average does not accurately portray where Tesla actually was there at that latest update on June 5th. That's an average of both the low numbers at that start moving from 20 million to 50 million and the higher production numbers when they reach that milestone around June 5th. 
One of the ways that I know for sure that this is the case is because Tesla officially reported their 4680 production run rate on March 20th of this year in a post from the official Tesla Cybertruck account on x.com. And in this post, it was written, quote, produced over 1K Cybertrucks worth of 4680 cells at Giga Texas last week. So if in a week's period of time, Tesla produced enough 4680 battery cells to build approximately 1,000 Cybertrucks, that equates to somewhere around 1 1.36 million 4680 battery cells, which gives us a daily rate during that week of over 194,000 battery cells being built per day. So if Tesla was over 194,000 4680 battery cells being built per day during that week around March of this year, of course, in June, they should have been further along than that as well. So that average number, once again, does not give an accurate portrayal of where Tesla was because as Tesla increases production and you do that average over that period of time, that of course does not accurately show you where Tesla's annual production rate is. Nonetheless, as of that March 20th update, if you extrapolate that weekly number out, that equated to an annual run rate of somewhere around 6.7 gigawatt hours of batteries or approximately 70.9 million 4680 battery cells being built per year. So when Tesla gave that June 5th update, the actual 4680 daily production rate that Tesla was achieving at Gigafactory Texas should have been quite a bit higher than 194,000 plus battery cells per day because I would have expected that would have increased quite a bit from that March 20th update. When it comes to the actual daily production rate that Tesla was achieving around June 5th, it's really difficult to completely nail down that number just based on the average data that we have here. However, conservatively, I believe Tesla's daily production rate on June 5th was somewhere between 200,000 to 250,000 4680 cells being built per day, which equate to around 1.4 million to 1.75 million 4680 battery cells being built per week, or between 73 million and 91.25 million being built per year. And I do believe that this is a conservative estimate and that Tesla could be building more battery cells per day than this, but this is at least where Tesla is according to my estimations. Now, I do wanna mention something that could slow down Tesla's production ramp and keep us from seeing exponential growth anytime soon. And that comes down to Tesla's focus right now, the Tesla team's focus on getting the cost of 4680 battery production down. This could cause them to slow down a little bit on expanding more battery production lines at Gigafactory Texas. Once again, the initial phase one is for four production lines, and then phase two is supposed to be for a total of eight production lines, four additional production lines. And then of course, there's the Gigafactory Nevada expansion with 4680 battery production there and 4680 battery production at other Gigafactories. I don't see this production expansion really happening until Tesla can get the cost of production down to where it needs to be. So that could slow it down and we could just see slower increases in production, kind of like we have been, where Tesla is making steady progress, but there really hasn't been huge exponential growth just yet. The exponential growth, I believe, really starts happening once Tesla really figures everything out in a way that is efficient and cost effective, and then they can install that same equipment and really do those same processes at more factories. But it really wouldn't make sense to expand that out until they really have worked everything out and they have everything working completely efficiently. There's also a very slight possibility that Tesla could scrap their 4680 battery production program altogether, at least when it comes to internal production and have their cell providers actually use some of their tech to build 4680 battery cells instead, because there already are a number of cell providers working on 4680 batteries. And I believe Tesla will be buying those from those cell providers. But it really looks like the cell team has until the end of the year to get the cell production price down or Tesla may scrap the program altogether. I think the likelihood of this actually happening is quite low, but of course it appears to be at least on the table. With all that being said, while I have been overall disappointed with Tesla's progress with 4680 production versus what was promised, I still have high hopes for the battery technology and I am encouraged that Tesla is increasing production steadily. It doesn't look like Tesla will be able to get to terawatt hour battery production scale per year by 2030 like they originally kind of hoped to, but I do believe that in the somewhat near future, maybe by 2030 or so, Tesla could be producing around 200 to 300 gigawatt hours of batteries per year. So while that number is quite a bit lower than I would have hoped it would be, I still think that is a realistic number and would still be very helpful for Tesla. 
Do let me know what you think about all this in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you. I'd also like to say thank you to all of those of you who support me through Patreon. Your support makes a big difference and does help make these videos possible. If you'd like to find out more about how you can support my work through Patreon, I will put a link in the video description. Thank you so much.